In this blog, we're going to be taking a look at a new preview feature that's become available this month in Fusion 360. They've now added an ability within the blend command that we can machine undercuts using a lollipop cutter. This preview is available in the top right hand corner in preferences in Fusion 360 and it's in under the manufacture area and there is a blend strategy here. So what we can do is we can select two guide rails and a surface. The other prerequisite with this as well is that we have to use a lollipop cutter in order to be able to facilitate being able to machine undercuts. So when you set up a part in Fusion 360, under the work coordinate system in the setup tab, there is an accessibility analysis tick box. When you tick that, that will show you in green areas that you can machine and it will also show you in red areas that you can't machine. This area in red here would be classed as an undercut. So by using this blend strategy we can actually go in with a lollipop cutter and we can actually machine that area out and get very good results very quickly. So what we're going to do here, the, the preview strategy is available within the 3D strategies and the blend. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the cutter to a lollipop cutter. So a lollipop cutter is a little bit like having a ball nose. However, on the back end where the tool goes into the tool holder, you've got a lot smaller shank. This means that you have a bit of overhang available which enables the tool to be able to go in and get uh, undercut areas machined. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to select a drive surface and I'm going to select my two curves. Okay. I've also got other options available within here as well so I can do a step over. Okay, I can do it as well so it goes both ways. So I'll do climb and conventional. I'm just going to leave it with stop to leave. Okay, so this will do a, a roughing strategy first. And then what I'll do, I'll make a duplicate of that toolpath. And what I'll do is I'll just change the stop to leave and just turn that off. I'll just go and rename them then. Like so. So if I simulate those two toolpaths, we should see this area here in purple get machined. which we can. That's looking good. Okay. So we've done that with an open undercut. Okay. But we can also do, let's say, an undercut where it's like fully closed like this. So the principle's the same where we've got a, a closed profile as well. So again, we can use the the blend strategy only this time around what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using it with a closed profile instead of an open profile so again we pick our drive surface which is going to drive our where we want to machine and we pick the two drive curves because they basically what they'll do is they how to constrain where it's going to go okay now what we can do here as well, we can make it so the tool just works to the inside of that boundary 
or to the center or to the outside of that boundary. So let's do tool center. Okay, I'll set my step over, which again will adjust my cusp height, and I'll pull it there, stop to leave, and we'll let it go and do its calculations. and then I'll make a duplication of that strategy and what I'll do then is I'll go in and just edit a parameter so I'll just turn off and stop to leave okay do then is we'll go and run those two strategies so we can come and have a look just to see that they're going to give us a required result we're looking for and we can see here it's going in and taking them out and you can see here it's just going backwards and forwards like that okay so what we can do here just to make it a bit more efficient in this instance I'm just going and edit that particular strategy and I'll just do it so it just goes one way and I'll do the same with that one as well so rather than go backwards and forwards it will just go in one direction and one direction only and there's less chance for any of it uh, marking the component as it's getting machined as well then so what we'll do let's go and rerun that simulation we'll see now it's going in one direction and one direction only We can see it's going down the part and it's following the contour of that undercut surface. It's looking quite nice. So we can see here that we're getting the, the result we're, we're expecting. And um, it's not too difficult to set up the strategy to get the desired result. Which is quite good. So in this blog we've taken a look at the the preview feature for blend where we can actually go in and machine undercuts on our components okay so we've looked at how we can know where there's an undercut on the part by looking at the accessibility analysis and if it's shown in red we know that's an undercut and we know that if we go to the 3d strategy and go to blend we have the ability to go in and select those surfaces that are undercut and the curves that are on either end of that uh, surface so that we can actually go in and machine those areas which before would have been a lot more work to get the same result I hope you found this blog useful if you've got any further questions please don't hesitate to contact us mm -hmm.